A gaffe, someone once said, is when a public figure speaks the truth when they didn't mean to. There are moments to savor, and when they're caught on tape and within the span of minutes beamed around the world for anyone to hear, it can make for big news. Today, a new unwitting star was born. David Wright plays tour guide for this brief history of hot mic moments. Hello, how are you? No. Now come on, have a talk with me. How are you getting on? Out on the campaign trail today, the British Prime Minister made a rookie mistake. Well, all these Eastern Europeans walking in. As Gordon Brown got into his car, he clearly forgot he was still wearing a microphone and the cameras were still rolling. It's a disaster. Should never have put me with up with that woman. Whose idea was that? Capturing Brown's blunt appraisal of Gillian Duffy, the British voter he had just met. She's just a soft, bigoted woman. News crews played the tape back to Mrs. Duffy. Bigoted woman. Well, what do you think about that, Mrs. Duffy? Disgusted. And at a BBC radio interview later today... Someone has just handed me the tape. Let's play it and see if we can hear it. They played it back for the Prime Minister, too. It's ridiculous. Much to his evident discomfort. Gordon Brown's election blunder. Tonight, Bigot Gate was Britain's top story. Labour's campaign in chaos. Of course, Gordon Brown is in good company. A few years back, during a photo opportunity with his sons, the Prince of Wales quietly sneered at the BBC's royal correspondent, forgetting those sensitive microphones. I can't bear that. So really. Presidents have been caught out too. George Bush forgot the open mic more than once. During the 2000 campaign, he trashed a leading political reporter. Big time. For politicians in office, the open mic can damage your dignity. For instance, when Joe Biden quietly dropped the F bomb in the president's ear. <laughs> just as Obama claimed victory for health care reform. But campaigns tend to bring these things out, in part because there are so many microphones. In 1992, Bill Clinton fumed when he thought Jesse Jackson had endorsed someone else. Uh, it's an outrage. It's a dirty, double-crossing, backstabbing thing to do. The open mic hurt him, but Clinton eventually won. Thank you. For Gordon Brown, this couldn't have come at a worse time behind in the polls with barely a week to go before the country votes. But tonight, outside Duffy's house, he completely backed down. I've just been talking to, to Gillian. Uh, I'm mortified by what's happened. I've given her my sincere apologies. He called himself a penitent sinner and said she accepted his apology. Sometimes you do make mistakes and uh, you use wrong words. But in politics, here and there, these are moments the voters tend to remember. I'm David Wright for Nightline in Washington.